Located along the Detroit River, the BASF Wyandotte site is one of the largest BASF sites in North America with one of the longest histories as well. Founded in 1890 to produce soda ash for the rising glass industry in Southeast Michigan, the site has developed and evolved with the industries in the area. Today, the Wyandotte site is the headquarters of the BASF North American Performance Materials and Monomers Business Units, as well as the Advanced Materials and Systems Research Division. The labs of our home care business, as well as the production and pilot plant for our dispersions and pigments business, can also be found on site. The unique combination of plants, research labs, business offices, and central functions for engineering and safety makes the site so successful. Our plants make a variety of materials, including thermoplastic polyurethanes for your footwear, resins for printing and packaging inks, and plastic materials for automobiles, and polyols, which are used in products like foam mattresses. However, every new product starts in the lab with an idea and a formulation. Let's take a look at the areas where this magic begins. The lab of our Care Chemicals Business Unit in Wyandotte is testing new materials for home care applications, which are household detergents and cleaning products, as well as products for institutional and industrial cleaning for hotels, restaurants, or in the plants of food manufacturers. To test the cleaning efficiency of a formulation, pieces of fabric are used and defined dirts are applied. Whether it is carbon black, mustard, red wine, lipstick, or blood, these dirt types have standardized recipes in the industry and are used for testing. The fabric pieces undergo the typical washing process in household washing machines. The remaining spots are analyzed with colorimetry to get an exact measurement of the dirt removal. Similar tests are used for cleaning dishes or glassware. Polyurethanes are very versatile materials with a lot of different applications. They are used to make foam mattresses, car seats, insulation, or parts of the car interior. Thermoplastic polyurethanes are often used in the consumer industry, such as for the soles and forms of shoes. Recently, BASF developed expanded thermoplastic polyurethane foams, which provide the Adidas Boost with a special heel that absorbs and returns the energy to the foot and leg of the runner. In the footwear lab in Wyandotte, new materials can be tested and improved. With molds which are sent by the customers, specific shapes can be made and tested for their properties so that the customer needs are met. As new materials are developed, they can be made in our two plants in Wyandotte, which produce thermoset or thermoplastic polyurethanes. BASF not only sells polyurethane materials to our customers, our monomers business also develops new raw materials, which are then used in applications such as mattress foams. The foam slab machine allows the making of these foam materials to support our customers with specialized solutions. The reactive ingredients of a polyurethane are poured in a large mold, cured, and dried. When the reaction is completed, the pieces can be taken out and tested for their properties. Three D printing allows for an additive manufacturing process rather than the traditional subtractive process. This, in turn, has the potential to enable novel architectures in the future. Currently, one major advantage of 3D printing technology is the fast manufacturing of unique parts. Whereas other processes have their strength in making many pieces of the same type, 3D printing allows efficient creation of unique samples, for example, rapid prototyping. BASF sells the materials needed for 3D printing formulations. Our research group is therefore working on improving these materials to address our customers' needs. The 3D printing group in Wyandotte constantly explores how to develop new materials to address customers' needs in this new and exciting industry, and is closely collaborating with universities and startups. In our Wyandotte lab, 
they can formulate new materials, test their printing, and their final properties. The Analytical Lab in Wyandotte serves all research and business units in North America. The Analytical Group has a broad spectrum of expertise. They do routine testing of production batches to make sure they meet specifications, and they support tests regarding industrial hygiene to make sure BASF works safely. Additionally, the group is critical to resolve quality issues and thereby reduce waste. The analytical team also helps exploratory research. For example, when trying to better understand how materials attach to a hair or to study the crystallinity of polymers. Together with their sister group in Terrytown, New York, the analytical team has capabilities in spectroscopy, chromatography, thermal property testing, and microscopy, including atomic force and electron microscopy. The Wyandotte pilot plant is the last step that new materials must pass before they go into production. When new products are scaled up from lab reactors to production reactors, a lot of things change. Heat removal might become a problem, or stirring and mixing might not be as efficient as it was in the small scale. The pilot plant is a small in-between step to test the developed synthesis procedure under conditions which are closer to larger scale operations. With reactors ranging from 5 to 350 gallons, the pilot plant not only allows scale-up, but also helps with manufacturing small volumes of specialty products, which would not be feasible in larger reactors. Whether it is polymers for paints and coatings, inorganic materials for catalysts, or small molecules for cleaning products or additives, the flexibility of the pilot plant in Windot allows it to support any of these processes, making it an important asset on our site. The Southfield site, located just 30 minutes northwest of the Wyandotte site, is the headquarters of BASF North America Coatings Business Unit, which primarily serves the automotive industry. In these buildings, new coatings are developed, which can be seen on cars all over the world. Every other car in the world has at least one part of its coating that originates at BASF. Automotive coatings must achieve a large variety of properties. They have to stick on metal and plastic and resist impacts from flying stones while being environmentally friendly with low amounts of volatile organic compounds. Therefore, developing coatings takes a lot of steps. All the formulation ingredients have to be compatible to each other and the color needs to have the right rheology to be applied without defects. The appearance has to stay the same after the application of harsh test conditions. Coatings are tested for a long time in salt water to see how they can prevent corrosion and if they are influenced by UV light over long periods of time. All of these tests are to ensure the color of a car does not degrade over its lifetime. BASF. We create chemistry.